Welcome to Monday Morning Quarterback. I am your host, Youth Ones, Ryan Oliver. And today I'm very excited because I am joined by a rising star from the 2026 class, Josiah Oxendine. Josiah, how are you? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing great, Josiah. You've had a lot of great things going on since the last time you were on Monday Morning Quarterback. You were on episode two. Since then, you've been named to our Elite 101. You actually have gotten your first D1 offer. I want to start with the Elite 101 and then we'll get to your offer. How did it feel to be named as one of the elite prospects in your class? And what does it say about your game and the work that you're putting in? Uh, I try not to get caught up in the rankings too much, but uh, it was definitely an honor to be uh, recognized as one of the absolute best eighth graders in the nation. And I thank you for that. Yeah, absolutely, Josiah. It speaks to the work that you're putting in. Do you feel like I know, you know, you don't you don't get too caught up in that because you want to keep working. But do you feel like that serves as motivation for you to look at it and say, OK, clearly with the work I'm putting in is being noticed, I should keep going? Yes, it definitely motivates me to grind harder and uh, keep looking for ways to improve. Yeah. And Josiah, you come a long way since you uh, since you've come on Youth One's radar. Uh, we actually did an article that's up on youthone.com where we kind of went over the progression Josiah has made. So you should you should definitely check that out. Uh, Josiah, you've caught the eye of some college coaches. Uh, I know you've been to a bunch of college campuses doing your thing during the off, uh, the off season, but uh, Georgia Southern actually made you your first D1 offer. I want to know how that felt to just kind of know that uh, college coaches value what you bring to the table. Uh, it was very humbling, and uh, I'm very thankful for uh, receiving my first D1 offer. And uh, I will keep on working and hopefully receive a few more, God willing. Yeah, I'm sure that that is the first of many for you, Josiah. You know, we're big fans of your talent here at Youth One. And I'm a big believer that you're just scratching the surface of your potential. I want you to tell me a little bit about your off season and um, the work that you've been putting in, like the training and things that you've been doing to, to get better at your game. Uh, my off season has been very productive. Uh, I've been working with my QB coach, uh, Coach Ramon Robinson. Uh, this uh, spring, I've been at camps such as uh, Next Gen, uh, Mega Six, and uh, Rivals Camp Series, and I plan on going to the Elite 11 this weekend. Uh, it's been very uh, working with him, Coach Ramon, uh, continuing to get better. And uh, this summer, I plan on going to a couple of college camps like NC State, UNC, Duke, Coastal Carolina, UNC Charlotte, and uh, South Carolina. I also got invited to the show in Atlanta, so uh, some big things this summer. Yeah, they just kind of keep trickling in for you. The work that you're putting in, it's like, you know, one one place sees what you can do, and that kind of leads to, to more places wanting you to come participate. And I think it speaks to the work that you're putting in, Josiah. Um, it's a lot of hard work consistently, and, and I, I feel like quarterbacks are taught to be so modest, and and I want to I want to big you up. Josiah puts a lot of work in in his free time to be productive on the field, and that's why the D1 offers, the Elite 101s, invites to the show, all those type of things, rivals, whatever, all those things are coming to you. Um, and I think that that's amazing. And I want to commend you on the hard work that you're putting in. I want to ask you in your own words, Josiah, what do you what do you feel like your strengths are out there when you're playing on the field? Uh, my strengths are my uh, ball velocity as one of them, uh, my uh, throwing accuracy, and my speed to get out the pocket if need be. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that those are definitely your strengths. Um, I want you to tell me an area of your game, Josiah, that you're, you're specifically working to improve. I know you guys say you're, you're working on everything. I'm sure you are, but what is a specific area you look at and you say, okay, if I can build on this, I, I cannot take my game to another level. Uh, continue to work on uh, getting outside the pocket and making some dislocational throws and uh, being prepared to be mobile in the pocket and uh, definitely finishing every throw. Yeah, yeah. I think that I think that those are those are some great things. I think you have a great foundation, Josiah. And I think that's something like when we're working on the Elite 101 and things like that, for young quarterbacks, always look at the foundation uh, of terms of their throwing mechanics, their comfort, you know, their their comfort in the pocket, their poise. And I think those are things that you have uh, in in addition to your obvious arm talent and you know the work that you're putting in to continue to build on those things. So I think that that's awesome. Uh Josiah, tell me about your most recent season and how you feel like that went. 
Uh, my season went extremely well. All the hard work in the off season uh, paid off in big ways. Uh, I received offensive MVP and uh, had some big time plays throwing and running the football. I really enjoyed playing with my teammates and uh, my coach, Coach uh, Michael Hayes, trusted me uh, to make big time plays. Shout out, Coach Hayes. I feel like you know it's great when you have a coach that believes in your ability and in the in the uh, the QB coach that you're working with uh, too to to kind of help you hone your craft so you can go out there and make big plays. Uh, Josiah, I know you're an athlete that has big ambitions. What are some goals that you have for yourself, both in the short term and the long term? Okay, so my long term goal is to play D1 collegiate football and earn my master's degree. But a short term goal right now is to work in the offseason and uh, become starting a varsity quarterback as a freshman this coming season. And uh, am I correct in that you're undecided where you're playing high school ball at the moment? Right now, I'm undecided. Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, Josiah, I'm going to be on the edge of my seat waiting to figure out where you're going to be competing for that, that varsity spot. Um, but, you know, obviously keep keep us posted here at Youth One. When you do make that decision, obviously no pressure. I know you. there's a lot to sort out for you young guys trying to trying to find your way. Uh, Josiah, I want to ask you this. What is what is something you're bumping in your headphones before a big game so you can go out there and uh you know be turned up to throw to throw touchdowns? Who are you listening to? I be I be listening to different kinds of music. Uh, okay. It's all over the place as far as like artist wise, but uh mostly like hip hop and rap. Maybe some uh rock and roll. Very few times I'll listen to rock and roll, but if uh, if the need be, I will. Yeah, it's like but it's uh like depending on your mood a little bit. Yes, sir. But uh. My favorite artist is Jay Cole, of course. So yeah. I, I'll be bumping him up. Yeah, awesome. I think that's cool. I, I remember from our last interview, you mentioned that you're a big Jay Cole guy. So I think that that's really cool. I feel like, I feel like I could see that. You know, you seem like you know a little laid back. You know, Jay Cole could kind of you know be your vibe to get you to get you in the right mode. Uh, Josiah, I want to thank you for joining me on Monday Morning Quarterback. I want to say congrats on uh, the Elite One Hundred One. Congrats on your first offer, the first of many. And congrats on all the all your success. And you know you have big fans here at Youth One. Thank you for joining me on Monday Morning Quarterback.